pissed off. Pissed off more at uh, ignorant people in this world that have no discernment and can't understand what is going on at this channel. So there can never be any doubt that in the mouths of several anointed witnesses uh, has the everlasting gospel truth about World War III. It's finally been established right here, right now, in these two programs. If anybody gives a damn and is willing to be educated them by the one who is the messenger to the world for this crisis. And I have declared war upon Putin personally. These are the days for the word of God to be reestablished in the earth. For the word of God was only closed until the time of the end. Daniel 12, 9. And Christ foretold that unless his word came forth prophecy to cut time short, no flesh could be saved. His word is flowing anew from Gregory Rasputin, the most important kingdom age prophet uh, ever given unto Russia, whose words have been covered by dust for the last hundred years because people have forgotten that there is no good man no not even one so he has been virtually ignored no more because he was the tail he shall be the head because he was last he shall be first and russia will listen to him so pass on please all people of love of the world community desperately i beg of you and god begs pleading with you have a brain grow one and pass on this torch because it's the torch that can fully burn down Russia, uh, because I am the voice of another Tokyo Rose, but I have been sent by our Rose of Sharon. Call me Daniel Rose, a name by any name smells just as sweet. So these are the days of Elijah, the days of Daniel, the days of Shiloh, all the same guy, water, steam, and ice, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, hundreds of names for him, and there was at least uh, seven, eight names for Elijah his end time servant, line by line, precept by precept, where the strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm, like a, a, a hell storm to tear everything down because I have the appointment of Jeremiah 1.10 to pull down all kingdoms of man's imaginations not built solely upon the Lord's unconditional love. And in those days, it is said, and he will have come forth with stammering lips. Shocking lips! I can friggin' spit these fuckers out! pisses me off so much. I am that uh, stammering-lipped end-time writer. I have written the everlasting gospel. I have written the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. One like him would come forth line by line. The writer foretold for the end times, Isaiah 28. The writer foretold in Habakkuk 2, written plainly on the tablet so all those who readeth it will run. The writer, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18, of the kingdom age covenant giver, of the law of love, a new one. And I am the writer of the everlasting gospel, uh, the creation gospel. And uh, I am the bringer of the last exodus, that the great falling away would speed up because the wheat and the tares can no longer grow together with truth coming back into this earth. So these are the days to understand that the truth of World War III and the total doomsday that none of us will, could ever possibly win it's time to reestablish the, the living word of God because Jesus said that unless these days were cut short by his word flowing anew, people, the message of Malachi 3, 1, to prepare the own, his Lord's own way is his word, his message that he's given to me. That's why I preach the kingdom age covenant. I will be your God. You will be my people 8,000 times. That's why uh, Muhammad said the day is coming when my people will be called by a different name that will sound like Islam because of a book proving God's mercy. Uh, and then obsolescence would be. That's what Hebrews 8 says. Uh, Paul wrote, when you hear those words, I will be your God, you will be my people. All faith on earth would be obsolete. And so these are the days for new understanding because Chrislam is Israel's new name of Isaiah 62 too. And she has been given that name because she has inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3 says so. And I am Elijah who restores all things. And so these are the days when nothing but misery has come unto Europe. And billions shall soon be feeling the 
weight of, of Putin's most bloody hands over his little red button as he rules a nation of uh, rats, fools that need to run away because uh, until they make up their mind that they've been on the wrong side, uh, they are only fools uh, with hatred and malice for all. So know as well in the days of our newest uh, Hitler, the newest Vlad the Impaler, uh, know that by the spirit of hope, the warning message of 1917's Fatima was gospel truth that Russia's infamous murderer, Russian mystic, also so clearly echoed and foretold in 1914 as well. For it came to pass that Grigory Rasputin showed uh, us, by God's prophecy, he showed us a great sea of fire which seemed to be under the earth, and plunged within that great fire uh, would be many demons in human form, like transparent burning embers, all black and bronze, all floating about in the hottest wind of hell ablaze that comes out of his mouth every time Putin lies unto his own foolish rats, who better become rice. rice. <laughs> better become mice. I wake up my murders and it's too early. It's five back somewhere there. I haven't tried it today, though. I am an alcoholic. And so understand now that uh, for such believers in the Lord's um, goodness, uh, they will not believe, be believers in Patton's most foolish fantasies of having a brand new sickle and hammer flag because he spits on his red, white, and blue one. Uh, and he is uh, a worse enemy now unto Russia than uh, Stalin and uh, Lenin put together, I guarantee you, because he does have a little red button and he knows damn well how to push it. So people, these are the days uh, when flames will begin coming forth uh, within people that care uh, and together with great clouds of smoke inwardly and that people would be forced to fall back into the furious fires of their own ignorance without weight or without any equilibrium so they can lose their balance and just die and get it over with. Uh, and know that such kaput demons in the flesh shall die really hard amidst many shrieking shrieks and terrible groaning groans of pain and utter despair, which always would horrify uh, even a monster to make them terrible with fear. And that lady of Fatima, uh, she stressed that if Russia was not converted unto love, not to a religion, to being a person of love, if they were not converted to being a person of love, walking as a child with their faith alive, out of the land of the walking dead, uh, that if that did not happen, Russia would spread death throughout the world and be the annihilation thereof. And uh, many nations would be totally annihilated, Our Lady said at Fatima. So you better listen to uh, this word of love. And as the prophet Zechariah foretold Russia, will end up with a nuclear bomb going off. Uh, and then the air will be so polluted that nobody could ever even draw a breath without an oxygen mask. And there shall be lakes of oil and blood, thousands of corpses, mountains thereof, and empty burnt cities all over Europe. Uh, and poor Italy, you're going to get a boot. <laughs> Pope, you better have a bunker. He's coming after you too. It's just a matter of time. And Israel, get, get ready. So love shall either have peace of purest way or our whole globe will be utterly consumed by the most horrific fires of World War III, atomic fusion going off like a supernova. And as Gregory Rasputin prophesied, he was extremely accurate when he told Russian Tsar in 1916 that if I'm killed, you will all be dead, you and your family, within two years. So you better listen to what he is saying because of his accuracy. And so in these days of the lives of people, better heed the word of love's greatest conquering hope because everyone's going to win by love, every one of us, or we're all going to lose by the, the big time, by the most volatile, fervent hatred of our own spiritual apostasy and animosity for all opposing our uh, shallowest beliefs. 
for such is the byproduct of all people uh, becoming heartless, desensitized, committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, as it was foretold that Vladimir is doing in uh, the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. And it clearly shows his death, the death of the king of the north. And so these are the days when people need to come into new understandings. So Rasputin, it came to pass, named Russia's latter-day leader, a cat of abhorrence and a predator of loathing apostasy who serves a false Jesus, a false God, while falsely believing that his unforgivable sin would be forgiven. Uh, but in reality, our Lord of love can't forgive such heresy, heresy of foolish, unloving souls. And for that cause, the world's newest Vlad the Impaler is now daring to walk by the hellish light of the most bitter antagonism for hypocrites uh, who love calling good evil and evil good. And Our Lady of Fatima also sent forth the holy message from the Lord that in these latter days he'd be sending his people of love, uh, an angel with a flaming sword in his left hand flashing, and they would be giving out flames looking like they could set the whole world on fire. But in that scene, as the three, three of Fatima stood there, they beheld the fire just dying out as soon as the fire made contact with the splendor radiance of the glory of Our Lady that was gloriously radiating towards them as the angel cried out in a loud voice unto Russia, Russia, repent, 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 become a mouse, become a mouse, become a mouse. So it's time for the rats to be the mice, to eat the cat, as Rasputin said. That means uh, assassination. Uh, he will be found no more, as it is written in Daniel 11. So let the wise understand well that Russia's kingdom age prophet, who he was, he spoke in absolutes about Putin as being the king of the north in Daniel 11, who had just walked all over the king of the south to kill many brothers of other mothers. So woe therefore unto Russia, for their leader of Daniel's north prophecy fully manifested is foretold, is the end foretold in time beast of his prophecy of World War Three, And that pride of the lion's den, uh, his foretelling about that disgraced son of Vladimir Putin Sr. and Maria Putina, uh, that it shall be cast down into the deepest depths of deprivation as his rotting soul Putin's descends down from the frozen Nevka to the frigid comfortable place uh, where that madman can awaken hell be hot besides the river Styx. For that cold-blooded killer of killers, the king of Moscow, uh, has committed has committed the unforgivable sin according to the word of God. Uh, and it is shown that he would be cast into the pit along with Satan who has already been removed because the first is last and last is first. So these are the days uh, for people to come and realize uh, that there are big changes that are necessary in this world. For these are the time to stop embracing the darkest and gloomiest gloom of Tartarus that has fully possessed Putin uh, like a, a human demon in the flesh. And due to that king of uh, tomfoolery and foolishness, uh, uh, it is written, therefore, that he will cause seven insane nations to arise against the eagle with one head as seven more smart ones decapitate the phoenix with two heads like it happened uh, to the three-headed Ghidorah in Godzilla. But, uh, man, Ghidorah didn't have a chance, and you got less chance, Mr. Putrid. You're never going to survive what's coming. The storm is coming for you. The clouds of that storm are but dust under the feet of he who has already declared war on you. Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, your false Lord who cannot forgive you, uh, he has declared war. As do I! If people will wake up to the importance of this, and before the final acts of hope falls, the fleeting va vanity of vanities will cause both birds to defend themselves furiously before the end and victoriously with their 
talons until the phoenix could never rise again, and their wings shall try protecting their people until that fang dragon is sliced and diced and cut off. And it's also written in prophecy that the prince of the south, Zelensky, and please hear, pass this message to Zelensky, because it is written that he shall be mounting his horse from the wrong side. I don't know what that means, but it don't sound good. And that you, Zelensky, and I'm praying for you and all people, and I still say stand still, people. Put the Molotov cocktails down. Peace be still. Because what's going to happen, he will be encompassed by a wall of enemies, uh, Russian enemies, brothers of Russians fighting brothers, the, the travesty thereof. And the, But Zelensky, you are a hero of bravery slogan, onward with God, that is foretold, that is the prophecy. And for, for your David and Goliath fight a fight, the Almighty God shall lead you if you fight and it looks like you are so i wish you godspeed and uh, i have no condemnation because god will give you victory after victory and many will meet their death i just pray it shall not be you uh, because your comedy is needed a lot more this is such a sad world and from listening to you already you made me laugh and i love you you are my brother Zelensky. And so in these days, Russia is coming forth as the defeated fiery dragon born of Guyana's hottest flames. And it, that dragon will fly through the air, dropping fire and sulfur, destroying cities and villages. Only then will the wise turn to love as hate consumes all of their former sensibilities. And this terrible war, according to the holy prophecy, will last three and a half years. Uh, which is a time, times, and a half a time, as Daniel 12, 7 says. And as Putin's most putrid pleasures of wasted life consumes his twisted sense of humor, the seas will also become tinged with blood, and men will lie in wait under the waves for their prey like sharks. So let all rats chasing that real bad cat become mice, and let them turn and chase as mice, because you will win. Mickey is all in favor of this. And he says to all of you Ukrainians, he says this world has been a world of festering fears and tears far too long. And he says that perfect love can come and cast away all fear. So turn, stop being rats. Turn, oh, all brothers and sisters of Russia and become the mice, as Putin, uh, prof Rasputin prophesied. And... You will come to see, if you do, you will come to see that this disgraced KG man always had a deadly wish to become hell's most evil fairy man of its flaming lake of fire since he only wants to give fools rides as the transporter of the damned and unto uh, Hades' most hideous shores of eternal pain and suffering where the flames of sulfur floats within the blackest abyss of love accursed by ignorance alone. My people are always destroyed by their lack of knowledge, declares the Lord in Habakkuk. But in these days of Putin's gaze of treachery, they will have no effect in hell, for his brands of debauchery and madness are long ago clearly foretold and they have been expected by believers in love um, and uh, uh, through God's literal word of prophecy. So great woe uh, unto he who is that new Hitler, Hitler of Hitler's wannabe, for it's Putin alone who's facing the eternal dust. And when it dawns upon him, upon that insane man, uh, he will become as nothing more than a wretched soul who must ever, everlastingly be cast away by heaven's uh, hottest flame and hell's brightest fires. And due to his politics of utter destruction, the land of the West, if, if people will not heed this message to the world, they will become one vast desolation after Putin's reddest button explodes. And you don't even want to know how strong that secret weapon is. Let's just say you take Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs 100 times stronger.
listen to the Lord, people. Love can save the day, and he is trying to send his messages of prophecy through me, and I'm only being ignored. And so know that the lands of the ocean will be crushed and suffer all the pains of hunger unless the whole world unites in a great brotherhood of kingdom age love. For that foretold castaway of the book of Revelation and Daniel is the blackest snake of death that darts out its living uh, lying silvery forked tongue of a viper. Woe unto that destroyer of earth as he slithers into position to release his most deadly poisons. Woe to the naive as that reptilian uh, demon in the flesh coils his madness around love's rejected innocence, constricting it with his coils of lies uh, till breaths of peace could never breathe again nor could they ever escape his spells of evil. So behold not that snake, therefore, in his hypnotic eyes, lest that new Vlad the Impaler mesmerize such foolish gazers, since he is the most toxic chake snake charmer of all unloving Russians, who are as but little garter snakes that that big king cobra is going to suck on down like spaghetti. And with greed as his pillow, says the Lord Bog, unto all Russians. Vladimir has hidden away, thus saith the Lord God, billions of dollars in order to finance his life uh, So while all the people of Russia starve uh, and inflation goes skyrocketing out of control. So he wants to celebrate his party of utter death and destruction. So woe unto that revealed beastly man of sin who loves feasting at sinful tables of power imagined and lusted for in his heart like a you don't even want to know and woe unto that disgraced father of the daughters maria and yekaterina uh, and the accursed lover of his uh woman who's given him three more children Cab cabavia who has given him two sons and another daughter for all of them too shall evermore be most ashamed of their loveless father and lover who is clearly heaven's most accursed Papa Vlad, the most accursed killer of killers. For by the spirit of prophecy, the wise shall believe the absolute everlasting truth of the purest truth, that as a S and M lover, uh, you don't even want to know about that one. Uh, Vladimir Putin's loves imagining pleasures most forbidden orchards of death's unripened fruit in his garden of doom of the darkest gloom. So thus saith the Lord Bog of Russia, Vladimir is but a snake like of Eden, shedding its outer skin, gaining its strength and power with every act of evil that he has his people to perform. And as a laughing hyena, he mocks those beneath him, while laughing as a jackal as he waits for his own grim, grim reaper to arrive so that he can pull out his most deadly uh, weapon. Uh, for it is foretold, eyes shall be consumed away in their sockets, uh, and tongues shall be consumed away in their mouths, and flesh shall be consumed away before any of those corpses even have a chance to fall on the ash-filled ground. So Rasputin, the kingdom age prophet of hope, passionately now warns by the spirit of prophecy his comrades, who are but brothers of other mothers, and he says that if you keep ignoring his most accurate prophecy, a terrible stormy fire will consume all life on earth, exactly as Isaiah 24, Malachi 4, 6, and Deuteronomy 18 all say, along with Christ in Matthew 24, 22, and Zephaniah 1, 1. Look them up, people. And after that foretold nuclear, uh, thermonuclear explosion, all life, Rasputin said, on earth will die as it is written. So he wrote the in predictions herein of his to warn all of his beloved uh, Russian uh, comrades and brethren uh, of the uh, of love about our approaching catastrophe because he desperately wants to console all people faithful unto loving uh, a good Russia so that they could be empowered to ascend unto heaven instead of being blasted to hell. For if these words of prophecy are not passed out to all nations obediently by love's most obedient spirit of hope, then Rasputin guaranteed that it would instead come to pass, if you will not hear me, 
that God has a big shit pie and that multitudes will soon be dying uh, as the accursed Ru Russian sh soldiers begin walking knee deep in blood for there won't be anyone to bury the stinking corpses so they'll just be dumping them into huge pits of no return in order to bury all hope that has come from the satanic arising of that annihilator of dreams, Vlad, the death bringer. He is the KGB asshole, the putrid Mr. Putin, and for by the spirit of truth alone, it is him alone who plans on taking the whole world to the edge of our total oblivion. And for that cause, Rasputin prophesied that the four sisters of Ukraine, Belarus, Greece, and Russia would in the latter days be dressed in silk that would be changing into the filthiest of rags. And he said that if man doesn't hear Christ's word through him, that cuts time short uh, so that all flesh would not be uh, lost, then all four dying sisters would have their eyes gouged out and their nails pulled out after their ears are sliced right off of their heads. And then their beauty would turn into a great ball of fire within them to incinerate their chances of ever being able to prosper again. So Rasputin strongly insisted that all the people of the world must pay close attention to the Lord's great seed of time that's found only within prophecy alone. Otherwise, not looking towards the Canadian North, where these messages of hope to the world are coming from, of the North, uh, to which uh, Israel would not have a mumbling word. Everyone would ignore me. And it is predicted that I would do everything in vain, Isaiah 49, 4. I've been preaching to nothing but white noise for months and months. I'm another Noah building an ark for nobody that wanted a ride. And uh, all of you ignorant people, you will die like all the people that didn't want to ride on Noah's boat. For life will only come from the Lord, star of stars of Bethlehem, who has sent me his inspiration, because he has arisen now as the most radiant and glorious son of love, hope, and peace at the beginning of World War III. So all nations can be healed uh, and, and as they embrace life and healing from that great physician. And all of those can have it who are willing to mount up on the whitest wings of his most regal eagle of the eons, his dove of love, who is bringing forth his flying scroll of Zechariah 5 as the curse unto the earth, and it will fly into people's homes and consume it through their computers from the inside, because joy is an inside job. And so the, in these days of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, I declare I am Elijah, the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. I am the end-time writer, the end-time revelator, and I am the one that has stammering lips, exactly as it says. Yep, 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 yep.